Salutations! Dr. Watson here from the Wiki Channel. Today we're diving into the world of string theory. Are you ready to have your mind blown? I hope so, because this theory is one of the most fascinating and complex ideas in modern physics, and it might just hold the key to understanding everything in the universe. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering what exactly string theory is. Well, let me give you a simple definition. String theory is a theoretical framework that seeks to unify all of the fundamental forces of the universe into one coherent, elegant theory. It proposes that at its most basic level, the universe is made up of tiny, one-dimensional strings rather than the point-like particles that we've come to accept through previous theories. But... Before we dive into the nitty-gritty details, let me ask you all a question. How many of you have heard of the saying, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts? Well, in string theory, that couldn't be more true. The strings themselves are too small to observe, but their vibrations and interactions give rise to the diverse range of particles and forces that we observe in our everyday lives. So, in essence... String theory is all about how the smallest pieces come together to create the bigger picture. You see, in string theory, everything in the universe is made up of tiny strings that vibrate at different frequencies. This vibration determines the nature of particles, such as quarks and electrons, that make up matter. Now, oh, I know what you're thinking, Dr. Watson. How can something as small as a string create something as big and complex as the universe? Well, that's where the magic of physics comes in, my friends. The mathematical calculations and models of string theory predict that these tiny strings can indeed give rise to the building blocks of our universe and beyond. In string theory, there are different types of strings, each with its own unique properties. Some strings are open and have two distinct ends, while others are closed and form loops. It's important to note that these strings are incredibly small, much smaller than anything we can currently detect. Another key aspect of string theory is the idea of extra dimensions. In this theory, our universe has more than the three dimensions of space, and one of time that we're familiar with. It suggests that there are as many as ten or eleven dimensions many of which are compactified and rolled up into such small sizes that we can't detect them. Now, I know that this might all sound a bit mind-boggling, but trust me, the mathematics behind string theory is even more mind-boggling. One of the things that makes string theory so fascinating is that it has the potential to answer some of the biggest questions in physics. For example, it could help explain why gravity is so much weaker than the other fundamental forces, and it could also provide insights into the nature of dark matter and dark energy. So, as you can see, there's a lot to string theory, and I've just scratched the surface here. But don't worry, we'll delve even deeper in a moment. Before we do that, I want to take a moment to talk about another key idea in string theory, and that is brain. A brain, or a membrane is a higher dimensional object that can contain matter and energy. In string theory, it's suggested that our three-dimensional universe exists on a three-dimensional brain with a larger multi-dimensional universe. This idea has some um, interesting implications, especially when it comes to the concept of parallel universes. Now, as we end this little adventure into the world of strings and vibrating energy, I'll leave you all with a little joke. Why did the string theorist cross the road to get to the other side of the equation? <laughs> and that's it, folks. That's string theory in a nutshell. I hope you all enjoyed the ride and learned something new today. I'm Dr. Watson for the Wiki Channel. Please like, comment and subscribe for more brain food. I hope to see you all at the next lecture. And as always, keep exploring and keep learning.